a lot of you have ignited the part of your brain that is really good at worrying, that's just your imagination going in the wrong direction. And what I want to do at Crafted Entrepreneur is help you ignite your imagination in the right direction, solving problems, creating amazing things in this world, having more impact, having that what if up thinking. What an exciting day. It is the reveal of our brand new podcast, The Crafted Entrepreneur with yours truly, Kayla Craft. Now, let's explain to you why I wanted to have this pivot. If you're brand new to the podcast, it's still going to be really relevant for you because you might be going through something similar in your life. So when I started Mommy Millionaire over five years ago now, I really just had a heart to help more people. I wanted to impact more lives. And, you know, I had this millionaire thing in my brain, right, where it was like really important to me to make more millionaires. And when I look back on it, I really created Mommy Millionaire out of a place of a wounded little girl. And you're going to go, what? <laughs> but it's true. I, I just found so much worth in how much money I made. And what happened is as I created Mommy Millionaire and, you know, this big coaching program on days where it was hard, you know, where money wasn't flowing in as easily as I thought it was going to be, I really was affected in my self-worth and in my identity because I, I talked about money all the time and I talked about being a millionaire all the time. And that was my brand, right, was to inspire people everywhere. And it was just like a a heavy brand that weighed on me all the time because it was like I had to make millions of dollars a year. Like I, not just because of my living, right? But because I had to, because I told the world I was going to. It was just so heavy. And so a few years ago, I, about two years ago, I started to explore like, what would I, what would I do if I didn't have Mommy Millionaire? And nothing really popped in. I, I didn't know what else I would talk about. But I started to get super into real estate, really into venture capital and investing and just consulting with other brands. And I was like, gosh, like there's so much more. Like, you know, some of these people that are extremely successful that make way more money than I do, they don't even talk about how much money they make, right? They're just focused on getting deals done, making like being their best self. And it really started to rub off on me. And then my brand started to bug me even more because I'm like, well, it's still this thing. Like if people aren't a millionaire, they think they haven't made it yet. And I never want people to feel that way. So I started to just pray about it. And I felt really like a heavy calling to change the name. And I thought to just completely close down Mommy Millionaire. Honestly, that's what I felt. And one day I took it to Bible study and I you know, was like, you guys, like I was crying. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like if I don't have mommy millionaire, what will I do? You know, who will I be? And that even made me even more like, wow, like your identity is so wrapped up in this thing. But my girlfriend at Bible study, she goes, why can't you just rebrand? Why can't you still teach some of the same things, but it not be such a emphasis on the word millionaire anymore. And it was like, huh, Duh. Like it was like God used her in that moment to like wake me up like, hello, you're making it way harder than it has to be. So I decided, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to rebrand. So I pray about it all day. The next day I tell my team, we're going to rebrand. And I had a specific name in mind. Well, we go straight to my lawyer (laughs) and she does like a trademark search. And she was like, you're definitely not doing that. (laughs) You can't do that name. There's going to be a lot of issues. I was like, okay. So then we kind of went back to the drawing board. And in that time, I received a voice note from my friend Natalia at Join the Social Studio. She goes, Kayla, I want to rebrand you. And I want to rebrand you like literally for free because you've done like so much for me and you have a huge following. And I was like, okay, if that's not a sign, right, that somebody's like offering somebody I love that's really good at what she does literally wants to just brand me for free at the same time as I've declared to my team, I'm going to rebrand. I don't know what else is a sign, like a confirmation that I made the right choice. So we decided on craft because 
that's my name, <laughs> right? Craft is my name, Kayla Craft. And we, it's such a girly thing to do, but I love it because I think it just helps people remember. People remember you um, either by a story, the way you made them feel, or an acronym. <laughs> so, you know, C stands for creative because I am so focused on helping you guys ignite your imagination. A lot of you have ignited the part of your brain that is really good at worrying. That's just your imagination going in the wrong direction. And what I want to do at Crafted Entrepreneur is help you ignite your imagination in the right direction, solving problems, creating amazing things in this world, having more impact, having that what if up thinking. So that's where the creative comes into play. Plus, we also talk about creative financing as well. Then R stands for real estate, because you're going to hear from a lot of successful real estate investors on this show. You're going to hear about different real estate deals that we're doing. And I'm just excited to uh, talk more and more about that. Then it goes to A, which stands for abundance, because we're still going to be talking about abundant living. But what I want to open all of our minds up to is abundance is not tied to a dollar amount. So when I first made a million dollars, I was a broke millionaire. I was a broke millionaire. I was not living an abundant life. It had nothing to do with the amount of money I was making. You know, in my surroundings, was I experiencing an abundance of joy, an abundance of peace, an abundance of friendships? No, because I was focused on all the wrong things. And so I've done so much work to really experience God's abundance in this world, which I think is joy and friendships, that the connections that come in life. So we're going to talk a lot more about just building up relationships and connections and how that means abundance. F stands for, you know, really financial flexibility. So when I say financial flexibility, you're going to hear a lot about being the bank. And when you can borrow money for free, you should do it. And we're going to show you different ways to do that. We have opened up a lending portion of our business. So not only do we have syndications where you can invest your money in to be a part of cash advance and all that kind of stuff. It's so cool. But we also have a lending portion of our company where we're going to be actually financing people's, you know, loans that they're real estate investors. They need a 12 month interest only plan. We're going to be doing that. So that's crafted deals. And you'll hear a lot more about that and just what financial flexibility is going to mean in this season right now and why you should be able to be the bank. So we're going to be teaching you how to do that. Then T for team. I would not be where I am today had it not been for my incredible team. But I want to go back to the beginning, right? When I was a nurse, I had a team around me. I was a charge nurse. I had a team around me that helped me be successful. Yes, I was the leader and I helped change the energy, you know, in the team environment, but I really shifted it to make everybody on the team win. And that's why I was successful as a very young charge nurse. Then I get into network marketing and I build out a team, creating amazing team culture and team dynamics. How do you build up the people around you to be successful? We're going to talk about those specific principles that you must live out as a leader in order to really build an amazing team around you. Because of that network marketing experience, then I go on to build an incredible mommy millionaire team that is now the Crafted Entrepreneur team. And it's, it's built over into several other businesses that we are building out. And team, if you want to do something alone, it's going to take you so much longer. You will never hit the capacity or your potential by yourself. But once you start including incredible people that have different gifts and talents as you, and you learn how to speak their love language and get them to rev up their engine, to really want to give it all for your company, you're going to get to where you want to go a lot quicker and everybody is going to win. So team is all about having win-win relationships. So those are basically the pillars that you'll be learning about on this podcast. Hopefully you can see how passionate and excited I am about it. I had a moment where I cried a little bit, you know, but I, that's how I knew it was time because I didn't even cry a lot. 
Like I was like so ready. I felt like it was like a baby that needed to be birthed. And I feel like, ah, relief now, you know, (laughs) after I've, after I birthed this out into the world and I want so many more people to be a part of this impact and whatever wealth means to you, you get to decide what that is for you. And that's the most important thing I want you to take away right now is success and wealth is going to be defined differently by every single one of us. You choose your definition and then build a life that supports that definition. Put the team in place, put the vision in place, put the actions in place, and then work it every single day, right? So you can really live out your dream life. So with Mommy Millionaire, it's basically, it's, it's going to bed. It's still going to be alive. There's still products out there. And we're still going to be serving people that have already been inside of that community. But where we're moving to is coaching programs specifically focused on helping you make money in real estate as a professional investor, then moving you over to become an accredited investor, and then moving you into, you know, learning how to be a part of the fund, learning how to get mailbox money and use our fund to fund your deals. So I know that's a very like, whoa, whoa, there's a lot going on there. Yes, there is a lot going on. I'm a big visionary, but I have the most amazing team around me. I'm excited to team up again with my husband, Chase. He's going to be helping us in the lending portion of our company. I'm partnering up with my brother-in-law, Shane. So you'll definitely see him on the podcast. He's flipped over 400 homes and we're flipping homes together now. And uh, so it's definitely a family business because my COO is still Kimmy, who's my sister-in-law. And she's, you know, definitely still managing all the behind the scenes in all of these companies. She's so incredible and so valuable to us. So um, our goal is to just help more of you guys achieve that freedom that you're all looking for. And so make sure to listen into the podcast to be inspired and also ask questions inside of the community. You know, we have a Facebook group. You can go in there and ask questions. It's completely free. You can also DM me on social media at C-A-Y-L-A dot C-R-A-F-T. And for those of you that are like, oh my gosh, I've been here, you know, for so long with Mommy Millionaire for over five years. I just want to say thank you for supporting me in that vision and helping it really come to fruition. And, you know, I wouldn't have gotten to this spot had it not been for that evolution of Mommy Millionaire, right? But it's really, I looked at it and I go, oh my gosh, I'm just not in that spot anymore. My, none of my kids call me mommy anymore. And I, I have billionaire vibes right now. Like I'm going to that next level, but I don't want to make that important for every other person, right? That might not be on your list. And what really opened my eyes to that was when I had Vina Jetty on the podcast and afterwards we were talking and she was like, what's your number that you need? And I was like, oh, I'm going to a billion. Like I will be a billionaire. And she was like, really? She's like, I just, I don't have any desire. Like I'm totally good with, with 10 million. Like that's all I need. I'm good. And I'm like, what? Like I, I, I thought, what? I thought all people thought like me. And she goes, no, I'm really like, I don't need anything more. Like that's a lot of work. I don't want that. And I was like, okay, so that's amazing. And I want to be able to support people like her, people like you that are listening in, no matter what your goal is, we want to give you resources, education, expand your mind to whatever it is that you want, giving you just those strategies and those insights to think differently about the challenges on your way to getting what you want. Because we know it's not if, it's when (laughs) they will come. They're here to grow you, stretch you, make you into the person that you're destined to be. So again, thank you if you've been listening in for five years. Thank you if you're a brand new listener. I cannot wait to help you achieve your goals and really just get to know you. (laughs) I love that. I want this to be more conversational and just get to know so many more amazing people out there in the world that are interested in these five topics. So see you on the next episode. 